to First Look Asia on this Tuesday morning. Now, Ben and I like to go out and film a TV feature together. The last time was a health screening we both did. Mm -hmm. This time around, we decided to go dancing, ballroom dancing to be precise. Ballroom dancing is enjoyed by millions around the world. Ballroom dancing is a fairly broad term. It incorporates a whole bunch of dancers, including the Mon Wall. Hey, the Viennese Wall. Tango. Foxtrot. Quickset. Cha-cha-cha. Samba. Rumba. Paso doble. And jive. Well, enough talking. It's time to get some dancing organized, or as they say, cut her up. <laughs> Let's go and meet our dance partners. So waltz is a swing dance. It's like flying. Mm. It means you take the step. I show you one, two. Very nice. One, it's very light two. feeling, right? It is, yeah. It's it's like you. One. Now we can turn a little bit <laughs> and go back and change. Go forward. Yes. Well done. You're doing very well. <laughs> Mikhail Yeremev, Teresa's teacher, has been dancing since he was seven years old. It's so much a part of him that even his wife Alessia is his dance partner. She gone through the club looking for a good time. Gonna First of all, for me, it's, uh, it's my lifestyle. I really love to spend a quality time together with my wife uh, because we, we're enjoying dancing and we're dancing more than 10 years together. And, and I like to, you know, to inspire people. Ballroom dancing is so beautiful, it's so expressive. Be honest, how did I do? Uh, you did a very good job. I like <laughs> the way you feel the way to, uh, you feel the music. I was feeling the music. Yes. Yes. So I'm the Teresa, uh, she, I mean, she's feel the music very well, uh, and once she starts to relax, she starts to enjoy it. Lance, I've been waiting so long for this day, and it's over, and it was just as wonderful as I thought it would be. It's I, such a great experience. It's a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoyed it on the social level because I made a whole bunch of new friends. Mm -hmm. I also enjoyed it as a sport because it's, it's quite a workout too. Yes, you had quite the moves. I think <laughs> we did okay, but we should leave it to the professionals. Absolutely, we've got Mikel and Olesia to take us through the waltz. Enjoy. They're so elegant. They Mikhail are. Mikhail and Olesia. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, just quick check. Uh, let's check the sound, whether the sound is good, whether it's my sound is good, and... And my sound is good. Yeah, just and very... And he has both. Yes, let's, let's double check whether everything is okay. Please type, please, please type your comments so we can, we can, uh, the picture it looks quite good, yes. Unless it looks fantastic as always. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Just to make sure that is everything you can hear us. Okay. So, Shirley, you're the champion today. I can see. <laughs> All right. So, just, just a few more comments. And we gonna start, we gonna start very, very soon. Okay, uh, all right, who is this? It's Andy is here, okay. Hello, Andy. Oh, Andy disappeared. <laughs> I miss Andy, what about you, Alessa? Me too. Okay, so, hello. 
So welcome to the Dancing Socially with Anne and all Mikael and Alessia. Alessia, it's a weekly show. We bring to you, we speak about frameworks, uh, some guidelines, some, some techniques, some secrets in a ballroom dancing and you can apply in a different kind of dancing. It's very important that artistic dance is involved a lot of artists, right? But nobody knows that it's actually everything what we express is already inside of us and today is a fantastic topic. And we, we really want you guys please pay attention because I think this is one of the best topics which we will ever talk because I only start to learn it maybe less than a decade ago. We are 28 years have experience in competitive dancing. We are, we've been through many things. We've been we're representing Singapore. We, we, we love the stage. We love to do the show dance. We are top world show dancers representing Singapore in the world. And I'm very proud to be part of our country. And this is a show we bring to you for, for Singapore, for Asia, and if someone in the world watching us, because I know we have some people from the US, is here, it's, I'm, we're so glad to share some ideas. Please, please, do us a favor. If you like the content which we share with you, please like our page and, and, and press notification button so you will receive all the updates during our webinars because we have fantastic webinars so please like our page because Alessia and I will put a lot of hard work and we would love it if you subscribe we will do even better better and better content all right Alessia do you want to say something? Thank you guys <laughs> thank you guys so thank you everyone remember, nice remember please like to please please like. you every week and share our experience and our knowledge with you guys. So All right, so and today is how to create your style and artistic presentation without feeling embarrassed, low or uncomfortable or wherever you feel because it's natural to feel it. Can you ever feel like before you go on a dance floor you feel like, oh my god, how do people will look at me? What the, what's it gonna say? Or like how am I gonna look? Judges look at me and we like freeze up and we can't do anything. I've yes, been there. Yes. I've been there for many years. And if you stay with us until the end of the show, we will show you video from 2013, first time in my life where I applied skills of artistic presentation, which we're going to talk with you. And why uh, we specially selected those videos? Because this is what the first year, 2017. After 28 years of experience, it means 7 years, after 20 years of dancing, it's, we start to, whoa, we start to feel, wow, it's actually it's make huge sense. So please stay with us, uh, at the end we will show you uh, a video, and it was a big change in our life. I remember before when you're dancing, you sometimes feel on a competition, oh my god, I do that technique, or like I try to do that footwork, but my results not going anywhere. Or like you feel sometimes, oh no, I still feel very difficult to dance. Remember, it's always take two things in order to, to improve. Number one is technique and number two is the feelings. And then today we will show you how you, you can create your own style. I'm talking, I will repeat it. Please pay attention, your own style, yes? Of course, there is some kind of pattern. Let's say, if, if it's hands to the side, if it's vertical, it's horizontal, there is a guideline, for sure. It's a frame. But if we will go, whether do you want to do that frame? Or like somebody forcing you to do that frame, okay? And of course, a presentation. You, you can present yourself like, wow, I love the stage. Oh, yeah, hello, and so glad to see you here. Or you can present yourself, hey, Hi, hello, and it's your choice how you want to dance, but look, no matter what was you dancing, Latin, ballroom, or any social dance, it's very, very important to understand those principles, yes, and we will go one by one with you today. Does it sound good? Yes? Yes, so, I think so. <laughs> so please, 
um, type in a comment whether do you ever feel embarrassed or you feel uncomfortable when you're trying to hear even the word art, artistic, or like what is a, uh, or put in the comments what the description for you is, uh, is uh, artistic or what is the style for you because I want you to to type your comment because when you type you really will go into process with us because if you try to make up in your mind sometimes it's not enough so please try do you feel number one question do you feel uncomfortable sometimes when you want to you you you're so excited to go on the floor and then you go oh and then you feel like oh my god how do people will look at me <laughs> say so type yes or no yes means you you feel uncomfortable or no you feel fantastic okay so let's give you yes guys it's always a two parts like Mikhail said but most of the time what we do we work on our technique we practice our steps our footwork our routines a lot of things of course it's important but we forgot Another important half is our presentation about our feelings. We just completely losing this part. And of course, when you come for your competition or your performance or even practice somewhere outside of your studio, you may feel a little bit nervous. You don't know how to, oh, okay, I should I smile or should I not? Or what I should do with my face? What I should uh, wear? Then you start to feel a little bit um, not confident enough to show your technique, which you work very hard, actually. So we need to practice both. Okay. Yes, we need to practice our artistic part as well. Yes, and uh, especially when you, you see, uh, for example, I will tell you one more thing. Do you ever feel when you do a lesson with a teacher, you feel like, oh my god, I'm so good. And on the lesson you feel like, I can move a mountain now after the lesson. And after the lesson you go and then, you know, in a one day, um, when you go alone, it's like, oh my god, it's it's so difficult. And now you go more longer time and and later you feel, oh, I can do without a teacher. So this is mean, so when you use a teacher, teacher giving you maximum, so maximum and technique, and how you're supposed to be, like what, how you should stand, so you feel confidence. But the idea here, once you go outside of the lesson, you bring those, I would say, style and artistic expression, personal you, back, so, and you will practice with those. And every time when you practice with your partner, you not only do, okay, my technique, you go, first of all, that the reason why you come to the floor, you want to dance. And then you start to do all the steps. Okay? So let me change, please. Please look at the screen. So what, what is important today? It's how to create a style and show an artistic presentation without feeling embarrassed, panic, and feeling uncomfortable. So we will talk with you what about what is a style, actually. We will go to definition what is a style and where we can create a style and how it can impact our dancing. Number two, what could suit you best? Example, me and Alessia are very different. So you are, and like your partner I'm sure is very different, that's why we're humans. So what could suit you personal and what could suit your partner as well? And third, we will talk about expression and presentation. And then we will, uh, we will show you some very interesting video to see how actually it can be combined together with the first video of me dancing in Alessia applying those principles. This is, was a breakthrough year for me in artistic presentation. So, yes, guys, and you know uh, our topic, you know what we're going to talk uh, tonight. So, if you have ideas, thoughts, or questions, please write them down. Okay. I you felt answer about the style, no? <laughs> All right, so very good, Dendi. I also feel, you know, it's uh, if you go for one of our webinar, if you if you watch about about feel last time, this is the same thing what we talk about. So let's switch to the 
what is a style? Many people understand very, very different style. Let's go to the one of the definition. So, what is a style? Of course, it's uh, many different interpretations. But so, 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 what is a style? Alisa? Style, a distinctive appearance, typically determined by the principles according to which something is designed. Okay, I will read one more time because uh, because Alessia was like reading like uh, uh, not very okay. It's distinctive appearance. It's appearance typically determined by the principle according to which something is designed. In our case, in our case, uh, we it's appearance in the dance floor with my partner or without or in according to setup of environments. This is how we determine what, what is the style. How do you show up? Yes? Yes. And design, so we can design our routine, right? So we can design our musicality, we can design our look. This is also the style. Yes. So any any uh come on we're waiting for your comment comments about the style <laughs> is everyone can hear us yes whoa okay S somebody has to bring a microphone oh, down yes. okay like Mikhail, it's so one two one two one two one S thank you alicia i don't need to to explanation thank you very much Okay, I mean, I, all right, can you hear us? Let me just type whether is everything is okay, all right? So, uh, then let's go to the next one, yes? So, then we go, what is the presentation? So, what is the presentation? Presentation is a giving of something to someone, especially as a part of your formal ceremony. So, what is your formal ceremony? It's your performance, right? And what you give is you present your dance, you present your partner, you present your look, right? So, guys, if you have something different in your mind, you can write it down. If you don't remember, when you ask the, the question, you're learning the most, okay? Yeah. Then let's go to speak about what, what is the expression. Expression is the way someone's face looks that shows emotions and the feelings. Remember, expression, uh, as Andrei Jarelli, current world champion, said, is your mimics. Is your mimics. So, it's very, very important to know what is the expression because uh, it's not expression of moving your arms it's not expression of or if not it's not expression like how do you move it's how do you like show up here this is your like expression yes then we go presentation what you give when you go to the floor yes what you give do you give your know, like determined look or you give like loving loving look or, or you give like oh, more surprise look <laughs> element of surprise yes so this is very very important and one more thing before we go we talk about what is the artistic artistic is definition is having or revealing natural creative skill I want that you read it one more time three times artistic is a having or revealing natural creative skill natural creative skill and one more time <laughs> having or revealing natural creative skill so yes, why yes, guys. <laughs> this is why Mikhail asked you to repeat a few times I will tell you what is the natural skill look for example I'm Let's say I will tell you a story. I remember I always try to dance very good. And I will try very determined. 
I go in front of the mirror and okay, I dance my, my walls technique very long time. And then I try to do my footwork and everything and closing my feet and rising fall and I was doing a few hours. And I'm tired and I go again and I'm going again. And I saw that if I do my technique, I will dance very well. But look, remember, you're dancing not because of the set of the steps. You're dancing because it's something in the music, it's something attracting you in the music. So, now the question is, how to create your, your style and show artistic presentation. Remember, this is for definition. Yes? Number one is what? Style. Number two is what? Presentation. Number three is what? Expression. Facial expression. And number four is? Artistic. Or let's call it art, artisticism, yes? Because you can have different kind of art, it's like uh, learning dance art, okay? Because it's dancing in, in, it's how do you see your vision of the dancing, yes? Okay? So now, let's go. So let's go now uh, one by one. Um, we will go uh, first to, what? Yes. <laughs> First, let's start talking about the style. So, how we can create the style? First, how we can look, right? So, of course, we will go to our uh, dancing as well, but the style is important how we look. So, what we wearing for our competition or our performance? We can always choose different costume, different uh, color, different design, right? So, for example, as a guys on a competition or performance, they can wear what? They can wear tail coat, but also they can wear a jacket. So, it's a style. For the ladies, we can choose different kind of dress. It can be long sleeve. Short sleeve, big floats, small floats, no floats. A lot of crystals, zero crystals. It's all the style. What you like personally for yourself, right? We all different, and we don't need to copy someone. If you like to wear red color dress, please wear a red color dress because it's your personal choice you feel it it's yours it's you to the best and you will look outstanding if as a couples wearing something different you don't need to think okay oh my god everybody wearing this i think i also should wear this no this is not you and you don't need to copy you feel in this way, do it in this way. No, no, I think let's go a little bit later about, about expression. It's so, not expression, I'm talking about I, dress. Yes, I'm on. Uh, okay. Um, about the dress, let's go about the style very quick. Style can be in a costume, in a routine, and a musical expression. Yes? It's very important to understand that a costume and a way, of course, the costume including your hairstyle and how do you do you appear? Remember, let, let's go back to our screen. No, 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 I, uh, yeah. just, yes, just a second. Because it's a little bit blur. Yeah. Okay, okay now yes. <laughs> so now, let's go back just very quick into the style definition. So, we go to, uh, just a second, screens, screens, we go to style. And I wanted to see distinctive appearance typically determined by the principle according to which something is designed. So, if we go back, look, it's go the costume, and of course you can uh, here to go to routine. Why we did the three for your, uh, of course you can do your nails, you can do your fingers, you can do your hair, you can do your eyebrows, this is the main thing. And of course, the style, the style which you're dancing is inside of the routine, yeah? It means this is belongs to routine, and let me just put one more thing for you, it will be routine, Plus dance. So, 
style, costume, routine, and, and like musical expression. So, style is a what people see, how you stand. So, uh, whether you're dancing here, whether you're dancing here, whether you're dancing there. So, how you dance your routine? Are you more, more basic type of the steps? Or you're dancing more, more like three dimensions, like WSF stuff, so you're moving around, yeah? Whether your frame is small, and you're dancing socially, and you're dancing with Alessa, or your frame is big, okay? And a musical expression could be different. Can be one, two, three, one, two, three, or can be one, two, three, one. So it's your interpretation. But so we can dance with the same yeah. steps, the same routine, with a different timing, and it will be your own style. And yeah. we can always change it if you like, but it will be only yours. Okay? Yeah. I think we will go a little bit later. Alessa, thank you very much. I think we will go a little bit later about expression. Can we just finish this I didn't one? tell anything about expression. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so one more thing. Let's go back to the beginner level. Yes? Because, look. Uh, people who listen to me now, who never learned dancing before, it's very important to understand it now. And people who are very experienced, or like our level, and it's very high professional level, it's very important also to understand it this way. Look, we start, first of all, we learn steps. Why we learn steps? To understand, okay, this is I go here, then we go rising fall. It means it's called technique. Then we put our hands, and then we go to, to dance. We learn musicality, we learn technique, and we learn characteristic of the dance. These three things. So this is, will give us foundation for our dancing is number one. Number one, we need to know what dance are we doing. Are we dancing waltz, tango, foxtrot, quick step, venice waltz, bachata, tango, cha-cha-cha, sambo, jive. We need to know then we know, okay, we dance walls, we go, okay, walls, rising fall is here, we know a technique, we know music, technique, and frame, I mean, how we should do it as a characteristic. So, number one, here we go, it's very important, here we go, first of all, we know what we're doing. It's very light color. Yes? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, let me change the color to... Mm. Let me... Purple. So, number one... Also cannot see right. Black is the best. Black is the best. Okay, I go for the black. Alicia said black, then I go for the black. Alright. So, first we need to know what, what we're doing. It's which dance are we doing? Walls. Tango, Foxtrot, Quick Step, Venice Walls, Cha Cha Cha, Samba, Rumba, Jive, Pasadobel, and all the social dance. Yes? Do we have questions? No. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. So, number two, remember, without this, we can't create our style. And number two, then we start to understand what package do I want to show. How do I want to show? Like how do I how do I want to show up? How do I want to present my dance? But look, number one, it has to be what? First I dancing walls. Example, let's choose the walls. We go. Walls, timing. One, two, three, right? Then we see rising fall, footwork, frame, done. Then we go from here to here. How do I want to show up? Do I want to go very nice and small? I want to go bigger step or I want to move or like to make like three dimensional movements. This is very, very important. Okay? So, number, remember, then we go, let's take, pick up like some of the Latin, samba. What is samba? One and the two and the three and the four. So it's like bouncing feelings. It's always bouncing and dancing, bouncing samba. So what is the counting? 
one and the two and the three and the four and the five and the six and or one and two and the one and the two. Yeah. Then once I know sound, but I know my hands how to move it. One, two, one, two. After this, when I know, I know everything. I know how do I want to show. This is where I go to my style plus presentation. Because here, if you're not confident here, it's very difficult to go on the floor and say, what should I do? So that's why it's very important to know what you're doing, especially number one is your steps. Number two, and ladies, ladies, my dear ladies, make sure that you know your step because this is your way of expression. Okay? And they said? Yes. I agree with you, Mikhail. <laughs> It's very important, of course, to start with our foundation and with our base, first of all, and then we start to create our style. We can create our routine, our uh, costume, then we can go deeper to musicality. It's always going by layers. Yes, layers. so let's say if I create a like, style, let's go to the costume. You see, my style is to hold a webinar is, uh, is like that, yes? So I really like to wear a vest, I like to wear a white shirt because I feel it's, you know, I feel really good like in the process with you guys, so I need to wear, it's my, it's my image of how do I want to be like in front of you, yes? How do I feel good, yeah? I wear the tie, not ball tie, the tie, because the ball tie is not feel very, very comfortable sometimes. I lace it today, the style, she's wearing the pants. So, you see, she's, she can wear the dress, so is this is costume. Routine. Now, when I'm dancing my routine, let's say we go on a competition, I dance like that. I can do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can dance like that, or I can do like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, three, one, two. You see the difference? It's routine style. Now, second thing, I can dance like this. One, two, more, more, flat, or I can dance in a style of three-dimensional. Whoa! I really want to move big. Yes, it's, it's also make a huge sense. Or I want to be more nice and clean. Yes? And we go to the musical expression. If you've been on our webinar about musical expression, it's about I can be impulse or I can be swing dancer. Swing. Or I can move constantly. Constant. Or I can be ho! It's very important to know how you want to do each figure. This is music expression. It's music, how do you feel? How is your ryth rhythm feel? Rhythmical. Remember, constanta, staccato, legato, impulse. Impulse, impact. Do -do 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 -do. Vibration. V vibration. Okay? That can be different. So, this is how you you create a style. So, what I want you to do now, I want that you listen and put some notes which kind of style you see for yourself. Do you see more uh, long dress? What kind of dress or like a tail coat? Like some people like a very tail coat, very, very like tight as a tail coat. Some people like a free some people like her up, some people like her down. Please write down it for yourself. For, for, uh, for let's say, for like someone who's not doing competition, try to write down for your ideal style. So you will see this is not for you. Because at the end I will ask you one question. Okay? Which, if you will ask, you will understand your image as a person and as a couple. Okay? Because look, my style as a man is different from her. It's like, how do I show up on the street? Do I wear pants or like both? 
all the time and, and I go on, on the Singapore street when you, when you have plus 36 degrees it will look strange right how do you show up how does she show up and then how do we match together yes yes and then how do we match as a costumes how do we match as a couple am I tall am I short am I big small yes and how do we match together and how do we interrupt the music because if I see I can be da, da, maybe she want to do that more oh, boom tita pa e it's up to me okay yes I'm okay <laughs> so do we have a question so far is anyone have a questions come on if you have please type it so okay now uh, let's go and talk a little bit uh, about different couples uh, different high relationship and yeah and I want you to kind of use, uh, and what's used the best for a particular uh, partnership yes let's go to the, this slide again so we want to go so we now talk about what is the style yes yes so now we go to second one what could suit you best and and it will apply first of all to your personal yes yes it's first of all guys what you like what you like personally what your partner like personally we're talking about, of course, dancing and costumes, and then you need to share with each other, and then you can try it, and you can see it whether it looks good or maybe we should change. And of course, you can ask your teacher and how your teacher opinion about this routine, about the musical expression, about the costumes, your looks. But if we have different proportion in a couple, sometimes the particular style will not look the best. And we will show now with Michael different variations, different high relationships together, what you can have in your life, in your practice, and what will be the best for this particular partnership okay yes it's all with we're talking about ideal ideal setup of course if you do you don't have to do it let's say if if I want to look in my way and I'm dancing socially and I still want one want to look with the hair standing up like that I mean it's, it's nothing wrong with it and if the lady two meters on the ball and I will be the most happiest man in the world I mean it's also fine we we're talking about how today's style and how to present yes and and you can hear us we will continue to talk about costumes we will continue to talk about uh about um uh, routine and dancing and we can go go to the musical expression yes because music if your ball very tall will be very difficult to present in like very uh, in a very fast way because your physiology is not allowing you to do so. Okay? Yes. So, uh, let's continue. So, uh, first of all, the costumes. Of course, the guys, you have all black tail coat and a black uh, jacket, black vest. So, it can be just simple details which you like particularly and you can use it. But for the girls, we have a different color, different uh, design about the dresses. So, number one, Ladies, if you have a partnership where the lady is tall, same height or slightly taller, you never, 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 ever, this is my suggestion, wear a very long dress. Because a long dress will make you look even taller. Okay, let's go on, one by one. Uh, we will start first with Andrea's question. Uh, Andrea wrote just now that what would you suggest for couples that are male tick depth wise and 
and tall female, bony or shorter by by 25 cm. I think uh, I think he's talking about a few ladies here, right? Sorry, Andrea, we're not clear about your question. And, and a tall female, bony I and short. No, I think uh, he means that the guy is uh, bigger, bigger, yeah, and the lady is shorter and skinny. The bone, bone, bone. Ah, okay. So, oh, yes. Okay, I saw. So, uh, okay, yeah, it's, a, it's called bony. Yeah, bony. Yeah, okay, 25 cm is quite a lot. Yes. So yes. now let's go. Um, let's talk about first the couple like Andrea. If I'm very, very thick, like big man, yeah, I mean, we will go really wild, so you will, will understand. If I really big and lady very, very tiny, I think it's 20. Are you sure 25 centimeters? Okay, so it's Wait, very important for the guy, number one. The costume wear must be very, very slim. Otherwise, you will look like, do you know what that, like, that size introduction? Uh, be, beast, and beast, and beast and Beauty, yeah? Be careful, guys. If you wear a, a, a free tailcoat and lady is very small, you will look like you're like that, like, on the curve. So very important, number one, for the costume, you need to be very tight, very, very tight. And for the lady for the costume? You need to have very big float, that the moment when you move, the floats will create additional volume for you. So, and the skirt should be also with a very big volume. So otherwise you will look very tiny and very, very small. Yes, and for routine you need to make sure that you're not trying to go like very very fast thing because for the guy who is taller you, you need to maintain your frame for lady if you can go here and it means for you you need to dance more lower than a lady so you need to make sure that you're not doing so much action that it means you will go more flat it's more i will call it massive dance you see here i will not go a lot of sway uh, sway and, and will not use the hands because it will be very difficult to, for the lady to pop up. And for the lady, it's very important to do shape and fill up the guy frame. And she is the one who will do a lot of action from. Yes? Guy will be more like, more like steady. Whoa! Without whoa! Yes? And lady will be more shapey and guy will stay straight. Mm -hmm. So, another example. Example is like we with Alessa. Or like that. <laughs> it's very important in terms of costume again I need to be very very tight here why because I will look very very small when I thin and long I need to make that the idea that I long for Alessia for the costume could be a few choices yes yeah, so definitely not a long dress so I will look even uh, uh, taller so usually it's uh, a little bit shorter than the normal length and uh, depending on the design, so I will probably not use very, very slim. Again, it will make me taller. Yes. And in terms of routine, okay, we need to make sure that we do every action. We can't do very, a lot of like very fast action, very syncopated action. Of course, we could if we will train. But because we're both tall, if you're tall, and you need to make sure that you always move in a three-dimensional. Cannot be straight way of dancing one, two, three, four, five, six. It must be three-dimensional shape. Then we can dance together in terms of routine. It must be, of course, our frame is an advantage. If we will go dance one, two, three, we will attack each other. Okay? Next couple, when a lady, um, I think, uh, normal size, okay? If if, if or, or for example, when lady is big size, no, I would say sometimes we have a big bone, yeah? And then the guy is very, very thin. Remember, ladies, for you, if you're shorter or taller, it doesn't matter. The same principle applies. If you're the same height, three-dimensional. If, if you're shorter, you do more the shape. If lady is bigger than a guy, make sure that you're not overpowering the man. Otherwise, it will look like... You're, uh, you're attacking him. Make sure that the guy will have all the drive. Let's say if lady very, uh, I mean very, very strong, I mean lady will give control to the guy. To the guy. 
to the guy. Yes? Any more, any more reason? And about the dress, of course, if you have this kind of body. Yeah, if the lady is more stronger, it means maybe body a little bit more big, uh, bigger in a way of not like that, more, uh, more. let's say, is a muscle strong, you know, the structure is different, yes. yeah? And a guy is very, very, very thin. It's very important in terms of the dress. In terms of the dress, less or even no floats. So the upper part here will look plain. plain. And the design should be very, very slim and long. So there is no cut, like for example now for me, here no cut should be as one piece, it makes you slimmer and uh, taller. Yes, Andy, I am agree with you that, uh, that you're talking about dancing comfortable, the comfortable clothes. But you also need to look good yes. in a comfortable clothes. Yes? Yes. So you let's say for the guy who are very thin, guys, for you, you need a little bit more, like, um, it means you can you can do more, more yes. loose detail. Yes. Yes. So do you have any question regarding the partnership anymore? All right. So we go to the next one. Uh, so. Uh -huh. Yes, we go with you into the slide first, we will see. Expression and presentation. I will tell you a very important story, very which is completely changing my life yeah, in a way of presentation and expression. What if, if you know that you lost, lost, I would say, 20 years of not being yourself. I will tell you why. Sometimes when we go, especially learning dancing, yeah? And, and I'm not talking only about the dancing. I'm talking about, I mean, a normal life, yeah? We try to show something which we're not, we are, okay? So if you go to dance and you're trying to do, okay, I will be good, I will be good, okay, I will be good. I will be good, okay, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, oh, wait, sorry, sorry, and then you go, and this is, of course it can be lack of the step, yeah, but if you try to do, and then you try to dance, and you try to pretend that you're, like, like you're dancing, and you're not, and you're trying to hold, okay, I'm not breathing, this is also will not work, I, I've been there, I know what this is, this is not working, and it's like, imagine, like, if I will wear lesser clothes now, yeah, first of all, I will not fit because I'm bigger, yeah? And it will look very, very strange, like, guys, I'm not talking about, like, the changing, yeah? I'm talking about example. Or, like, if I wear the clothes of this guy. It's very, very important. Look, I want you that you save time and learn from my experience, and if you can learn something, which will take off your 20 years, the case of, of, of your dancing, please do so. Remember, can we go to the, um, about expression, Ex expression slide, okay, let me just do it. Expression, the way someone face looks that shows emotion and feelings. Then I go to the next one, artistic, having or revealing natural creative skill. The fastest way to create your natural skill, first of all, is to study yourself. For example, you can see some people are, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Some people are like this. Hello. Some people are like that. Some people are just... You need to know what is your natural style and around that style of how do you... What is your vision of the dancing? Do you see dancing? Usually when you watch a video and if you like something, if you really like something, it's yours. You need to know what... Do you like a fast action? Do you like slow action? Do you like, do you like jumping? Do you like more smooth? Do you like more... 
breathe, stay, do you like more shape, do you like more action? It starts all from there. First, we know what you like, we write it down everything. Then, she writes down everything, what she likes. Because the best partnership is coming from two persons being, being different, very different from each other. And this is where we come now. Hello, my name is Mikhail and Alessia. And from here, we start to create a story from two stories. I'm more, okay, I will tell you about me. I'm more inspirational, I'm more active, I really like. Whoom. Alessia is more like gentle, very elegant flower. And when I dance, it's very important that. Whoa, yo, whoa. I stop and she continue to create beauty of my car and I continue to create action with which I want so if you go back to the style expression presentation and artistism it's very important it's the fastest way of course you can learn how to be funny when you're not funny you can learn how to be more more charismatic when you're not charismatic it takes years it's very easy to learn what is yours and what is mine and when I find later on you will see the video when I find what is my style and how I can present it in my way I go to my coaches and I say look I want to look like this and this is how I, I'm dancing at my best very best this is where I feel that my technique support my feelings and this is where I feel I'm a dancer. Boom! This is the same way it's connecting all together. But when I try to dance inside of a mirror for a few hours, when a time world champion told you, Mikhail, stop dancing basic in front of the mirror. When I hear these words and I say, Mikhail, stop is already there for a long, long time. This is where was my first book. And after this, I go to the artistic expression. Because artistic expression is not something which you actually... You can create unless you go to, to university of act. Like movie actors, yeah? Some movie actors, they can create many, many different things. Yeah? They can be funny, they can be sad, they can be different. But for the normal, it's the fastest way just to find on the which way you want to present. So the question what we need to ask as a Mikael, what is the ideal image of myself on the floor I looks like? And then you go and you write everything what is possible. Then Alessia write the same thing. And then we match, sing, and see, is it possible if we do competition to create something which will create our competitive look? And of course, here is where the coaches is coming to you and say, okay, Mikhail, this is going to work, this is not, this is not. So what are we going to do, Mikhail? And then from here, we will more create, sculpture a couple which create a spark in a in the heart of the people around you. Because you see, everyone is a great dancer. I'm talking about artistic dancer, not a physical dancer. Yeah? Everyone it looks like, wow, of course the physical can express in a physical way, but I'm talking about artisticism. So the fastest way, and you will dance so well if you will find that natural artisticism in you. Remember, it's a natural or re, or revealing natural or revealing natural natural yes so we all have we all have these artistic skills inside of us we just need to look inside and open these skills and we don't need to be anybody else and you will never feel unbalanced or a pain or nervous because you, you you do yourself, you have your own feeling and you just present it. 
of course, when you try to be somebody else, then maybe you feel, oh my god, mm, is it work or it's not working? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and especially when the people are trying to um, to copy the top in the world. Guys, you're very different. You will dance much better if you will start to choose, okay, I like him that way. And, and you are Technique, remember, first you need to know what you're doing. It's a technique, and the second one you go to the next one, it means you're, you're seeing yourself, not asking your teacher, is it better? Is it better? Because it takes us so many years for you to improve. I've been there. I go to the coach, hey, hey, how do I do? And one coach says this, and one coach says that. And, and when we have a 20 top coaches in the world, and imagine, okay, I will go completely honest with you. And if you try to adjust to each one of them, it's not possible. And this is where we stuck. We have all the top coaches in the world, but but the dancing like go, yeah, should I dance this way? Should I go that way? Then I say, stop it. Wait a minute. How do I want to look? Okay. Okay. Then I go to the coaches and say, I want to look like that. What should I do? I will. I want to look like that. What should I do? You are in control of your of your um, expression. And then. Expression, how do you present? How you present, you talk with your partner. Will you go like this? Or will you go like that? It's up to you. So we have a question from Andrea. When we have a people who are generally express expressionless on the face, do we need to explicitly practice moving facial muscle? Or can we focus on other parts of the body for the expression? Andrea, let me put again for, for your definition of what is the expression. So the way someone's face looks that shows emotions and feelings. So the answer is... It's still emotional expression. It can be musical, mu musical expression, but we're talking about, yes, a musical can be boom, boom, boom. Of course you can do it in a different way. It means it can be, it's, it's more musical, musical expression. So, but this is expression which we wrote, we wrote in particular order because your emotions on a face is, You can practice it, of course, for example, smile. Let me tell you, a long, long, uh, long time ago, someone said, Mikhail, I'm very tired to smile. I said, of course. When we also start, we never smile in our life like this. For straight seven minutes. When you're dancing, uh, no, in the final, it, it's less, yeah? So, or like you never, like one and a half minutes, you, you smile. So, we never train to do that. So, of course, it starts, when I go to the floor, I'm automatically like, I go into my more mode, and I go into, and it's just making me like my facial expression nature. But if you've never done it, if you're a beginner and you're like freeze, I suggest you just start with a smile. It's muscle training. Because if you go to the mirror and you just do this, in, in a few minutes, by looking at the mirror, you will start to smile. This is how you will activate your like feelings. So you can do it from here to produce emotions, and of course the muscle, Andrea. We have 80 muscles on our 80 muscles on our face. Okay. So. All right. Begin. Do you want to ask something? So of course the muscle is start to to express on the face first, yeah? Yes. And you can't wait for emotions, that's why it's called artisticism, you're showing expression on your face. So you can really like, you can do this, or, or you can do that. Wow, she's with me. And I remember when we uh, made choreography for the World Championship, recently in 2019, and I remember um, our choreographer who made six times world champions in the show, he said, Mikhail, when you're dancing, you should speak with you. 
And you really should speak like this. Wow. Oh, yes. So beautiful lady. Oh. Let me dance with you. Oh, now I feel very good. Of course, you're not speaking with your with a voice, but you feel it's like inside the story. Wow. So beautiful. So big frame. I'm so happy. Whoa, sweet. And she present my lady. So in this way. Okay? Alright, so my, uh, my cheeks vibrates when uh, when I try to hard smiling. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, you're right, it's normal. Do you know why the more you will go? Uh, it starts with of course with a physical war, but later on for us it's very natural. I really it's natural because when I do this and you know it's right away activating my emotions. There is a two ways to activate emotions, yeah? Number way, wait for them. Or if you start to activate your muscle on the face, let's say smile or wondering, you will in one minute it will go back to your body because muscle memory is important. So muscle memory on the face can trigger your feelings and vice versa. Make sense? Okay. So, let's recap with you. Today we spoke how to create style and show an artistic presentation without feeling embarrassed, panic, and feeling uncomfortable. Number one, what, what is a style? Style can be in your routine and dance can be three-dimensional, small frame, can be different costumes, depends on, on a high relationship, and different music expressions. Then we go to the next one. What could suit you best? First of all, you know what is your body, how you want to look, how you want to see your dancing as ideal. Then your partner looks in the same way. What could you say? What she looks is the best suit for her. Then together we combine and then we see like what is going, going to work. And we go to our coaches and say, okay, what is look what is what is actually what works for me? Then the last one, it's expression and, and, and presentation. I do believe that everyone is different. Everyone has their own presentation and skills. How do you want uh, how do you see yourself as a dancer? Uh, I will give you a clue. When are you, actually, how do you live your everyday life? It's, this is the way how you present yourself. And when you go in, this is how you can start to feel comfortable. And then on the dance floor, once you let it go, how you can present this and how you, you see that, how in a dance you can be expressive. And natural way of expression is always the fastest way. Remember, you can learn. You can learn. You can learn how to be how to be Denzel Washington. You can learn how to be. I'm not going to politics now. Yes, you can learn how to be. Yes, it's up to you but it takes years, just be yourself, okay? And now, I want that you have a look, a video. Uh, I think you can check. Yes, yes, Alyssa, okay, you go. Uh, while Mikhail is checking the video, uh, I just want to quickly share with you guys uh, my story. <laughs> when, um, in our career, we have a lot of teachers and a lot of friends and of course, when you listen advices, you think, oh yeah, maybe it will suit me. Okay, I will try. Okay, maybe it will also suit me. I will try. So somebody said, okay, you should be a blonde. Somebody said, okay, maybe you should be the brunette. Somebody said, okay, maybe you should wear the short dress. Somebody, okay, maybe the long. So you have so many advices. And of course, when you look to the other couples, you look to the different people, you say, oh wow, this is so good. I want to be like that. 
But when you try on yourself, when I try on myself, I realize that so many things is just not suits me. And from outside, when I watch my competitions, my videos, uh, even my practice, I, uh, I feel this is just not me. And it's just not suits myself and our couple. I try many different things for myself and then at one point I realize myself the best to be and feel what is inside of you. If I feel it, I want to be elegant. Yeah, I completely I agree. that I'm elegant. I feel that for my competition, it suits me a soft colors of my dresses. Why should I wear something different? Yes. Because it's me. And this is, you see, I also do believe, like, even, you know, you will attract the right... If you try to ask the people what you should wear, how, like, what, what hair you should do, what, like, you know... I mean, it's nice, but look, it starts from you first, and you start to see what is looks good on you by by feeling, trust your own feelings, and then consult with other people. Yes, definitely. I, I this is uh, my experience and Mikhail's experience. We went through this, and we we understand ourselves. The best is what inside of you, and you know by yourself what is best for your expression, for your uh, yes. presentation. And look, within the years, especially if you're in a dancing in any Latin American, look, I always like see, of course, if the person like high professional, you know, like uh, like as a hairstylist or like designer, of course, we go, we go all like from not knowing anything, from now knowing a lot of things because and for the 28 years of competitive experience we know what is works for us and look if I will be there in my shoe from the beginning and don't be afraid to be express myself on the floor this is a, I will be very very far away from it so now let me show you the video where we're first action it, it's it's from uh, this is show from Jakarta we did it in 2013 and this is where our first year first year of stepping into artistic expression and, and being of ourselves first year we go to that step from trying to be good to being yourself let's have a look okay
So this is like such a wonderful. Why I want to show you this because since there are our whole results in our career, since we catch that feelings of me being very active, very playful, and she's more like elegant, and we build our dance around that. Since there, our 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 career goes up and up and up, and and and, and took really exponential growth. Before it, it was like small, 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 small. Okay. So thank you so much. With you was Mikhail and Alessia dancing socially with M and O. Express yourself, know your style, and show what you want and be yourself. Thank you very much. And remember, if you like this kind of webinars, please go and like our page. It will be so will be so grateful for you because. We're doing. Uh, we're really putting it for you, and we want to share the experience, the secrets with you, from our coaches all the way from them to you, please. And also, if you, if you would like the page, you you can get notification for the next webinars and all the information about the dancing. Thank you very much. And do 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 da 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 pop pop. Thank you. Until we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank and you have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.